This video looks at quadrilaterals, that means polygons with four sides. And here are the most common quadrilaterals. I'll be using this application GeoGebra to create some quadrilaterals and pull them into different shapes. So let's start with the most basic of all quadrilaterals, the square. I'll choose this regular polygon tool enter four vertices OK and there's my square. If I choose the move tool that's this arrow at the top left I can move it about and by grabbing a corner I can resize it and spin it. But however I mess about with it, it's still a square because the four sides are equal and the four angles are right angles. And of course the opposite sides are parallel. OK, here's another quadrilateral but I won't make it a regular polygon this time because I'm going to change its shape. I'll start with the square and then stretch it out. So the four angles are still right angles, the opposite sides are still parallel, but now there are two equal long sides and two equal short sides. This is a rectangle. Of course a square is just a special case of a rectangle, but rectangles are usually drawn with two longer sides, these two, and two shorter sides. But if you really want to have a rectangle that cannot be a square, it's called an oblong. Now, here's another square. And I'm going to push this one out of shape like so. And this is called a rhombus. There we are. All four sides are still the same length, but the angles are no longer right angles. One property of a rhombus is that the opposite angles are equal. These two and these two. And as you can see, the opposite sides are still parallel. Next, I'll try stretching and squashing. So first stretch to make a rectangle and then squash. And now I've got a quadrilateral that's a cross between a rectangle and a rhombus. Like a rectangle opposite pairs of sides are equal but it has lost its right angles. Like the rhombus, the opposite angles are equal, and it's called a parallelogram. The reason for the name is because the two pairs of opposite sides are parallel. And the last player to be picked to play for the quadrilateral team is the kite. Now you probably know what a kite looks like. This is a kite, as is this and this. These are all kites. And the properties are that it's the two pairs of adjacent sides that are equal. That's these two are equal and these two sides are equal. Now only one pair of opposite angles are equal, that's these two angles, and that is the kite.